Well, when you uh, had the ball up there in isolation with uh, up by one, 30 seconds left or so, was that a design play for you to just pop a 30-footer? Were you feeling that, or did you just feel like you had to, to shoot it right then and there? Uh, no, um, we didn't really have anything going. We had a set call, they kind of jumped it, so uh, I got it up there, and Spicer was coming to ball screen me, so I just kind of waved him off. I didn't want it. I just wanted to have my guy one-on-one -on -one up there, and uh, he gave me some room, so I shot it, and um, Something I learned from Hastings earlier, I went inside, didn't get a call, so I, I just wanted to get a jump shot off and give it a chance. Uh, is that the most emotional game you've ever played in? Uh, positive emotions. Uh, my last game here was definitely the most negative emotions, but yeah, it was uh, emotional. It was so fun, ups and downs. It was just, I mean, what you expect being at the national tournament. No, I mean, we got T. Newt crying, maybe being his last game at the end of the game when he fouled out, and seeing his joy when we get the win, it was just, it was awesome. Uh, you hugged Wilbur there right away. Uh, just how proud were you, not only uh, him and the team, but just what you were able to accomplish, especially after being down early in that overtime three? Oh, yeah. Um, to bounce back from that, that was huge. And uh, I mean, uh, after games, Wilbur's always the guy I go to first. I mean, it was just a huge win for us. We wanted to get one down here for sure and see what else happened. So it was just it was a big, uh, big relief there. And just I was really proud of our whole team, how we played. Uh, this is your last rodeo, obviously. Uh, did you kind of have that in the back of your mind during the game that you didn't want this game to be your last? Oh, for sure, yeah. Um, I didn't want to be done. None of our guys want to be done, seniors to freshmen. So uh, obviously that's going on in your mind, and you just want to win and uh, keep on advancing. That, that's where we're at right now. Trey, it's been a few, uh, few weeks since you've had a performance like this. There's been a, little, a few bumps in the road recently. What was it like to go out there and just start nailing those threes to start this game? How, how did that make you get into it? Uh, it was awesome, obviously, getting rhythm right away. But um, I mean, I've been battling this ankle. It's just been annoying the whole last you know, four or five games, however many it was, conference tournament. So uh, it's really starting to feel better. Um, the last few days, it's felt really good. So I knew I'd be a little better tonight moving-wise, and I just had to hit them. Luckily, they were going down. Is it easier to come into this tournament as maybe a team that people are overlooking as opposed to last year when all the pressure was on you and people were expecting big things? Yeah, for sure. Um, well, once you get down here, every game's big, every game's tough. But uh, it's kind of fun being the underdog. Last year, you know, we had targets on our back right when we were coming down from the first night we went out to eat with all the teams that you could tell people were looking at us so we were going to be pretty good. So this year was a lot different. So it's an underdog role. We definitely liked it. Uh, last year in the tournament, you didn't play a close game at all. Obviously, the four wins were all blowouts, and then the championship was a blowout as well. Did you feel a lot more adrenaline in this one in your first night, or was there no difference? Um, obviously, this one with the uh, ups and downs at the end of the game was unbelievable. It's uh, one of the craziest games I've ever played at, and then you put it at the national tournament level. That's just obviously going to be very emotional. But um, all the wins last year were awesome, too. Uh, this one really stands out.